Welcome everyone to Neverwinter on PC. My name is Reiner and today I'm going to give you guys an in-depth guide to the Master Expeditions. If you enjoyed this video please leave a like and if you'd like to see more information or videos about Neverwinter hit the subscribe button. So after you finish the campaign you will already have done some expeditions to get to the next Undermount maps, Undermountain maps. Uh, a Master Expedition is kind of the same but with some additional options. Seeing that the dungeon will most likely uh, not be up for some time, probably most people will be running the master expeditions uh, during that time and maybe even afterwards as well. But for the people who haven't been on preview yet, what exactly is an expedition and what can you get there? Of course I will be showing it in a minute but let me explain it a little bit beforehand. Uh, an expedition basically is a semi-randomized instance with three areas which you have to clear from enemies to get a key and you have to collect three magic relics per area as well. The magic relics are optional but not getting them will reduce your rewards so I would really focus on making sure that you get the relics. So what are the rewards you ask? You can get uh, and let me get go to the uh, collections. You can get the runed apprentice armor, which is this armor here, which is uh, well, this is the ruined uh, armor which needs to be restored. And if you restore it, as you restore it, you get this level a 965 armor. Um, these are random rewards, of course, and you have to upgrade them. Next up is some epic. Uh, companion of epic gear uh, I think let me see where is it well next is actually the weapon set you can get the set of the watcher and expeditions which is the set that I'm currently using on this tune uh, I bought it on the wondrous bazaar a little bit cheaty but this is preview um, which gives uh, power armor penetration critical strike and defense 1% um, and it increases by 1% uh, for every 10 seconds in combat to a maximum of 5% which is very nice uh, and you can also get the Alabaster set which is this one here um, which only increases your power and critical strike by 1% for every enemy you faced when starting combat uh, and when you kill an enemy this buff will, will be refresh, refreshed <laughs> But uh, yeah, this is kind of like the old set that we also got in Chilled. I don't know the name anymore, but we also got a set there that refreshed on Kill. Uh, next up, we have some epic companion gear. I don't have uh, probably companion gear here. These are just the companions, so I cannot show you the gear. But there is some epic companion gear here and as well. Uh, I don't have it on this tune, I think. Yeah, this is just from the quests, but you can get some epic dual uh, offense slotted companion gear of very high item level, which is a lot better than what you get during the campaign. We actually get some better gear as well now, but you don't need to buy companion gear in mod 15, so don't do that anymore. Uh, and last of all, you can also get uh, some kind of like hunt gear, some expedition gear, which goes up to item level 1000 which is really really high um, and I will not go through all these items because that's go just going to take too long uh, you can look at this yourself in the collections it's under under mountain and the last tab number seven uh, Antiqu antiquities of under mountain so I also mentioned randomization so what exactly is randomized the areas are selected randomly from a fixed set of pre-programmed areas so you get a random dungeon basically uh, you also get random enemies so your enemies can be from kobolds to uh, beholders to anything you get random bosses which can also be very different uh, and the magic magic relics that i mentioned are placed randomly as well uh, and also the rewards of course are random as well um, you start the expedition here at this lady Obaya Udai uh, it's in the yawning portal on the first floor uh, or second floor uh, depending on the country 
um, she will give you a quest and she will give this quest three times per day here it states three daily um, for it's per character so in each character you can do three quests per day uh, here it also states the undermount and expedition rewards these are some rewards that you also get coalesced magics for the campaign store seal of the mountain for some extra gear that you can buy refinement points um, not that interesting and some armor piece which uh, well this this can be the um, companion gear but also some of the blue gear that you can get and possibly also some extra epic gear uh, and it also states down there contains rewards based on the number of magic relics collected so that's why you always have to get all of them so let's accept this quest um, after that you can start the expedition here um, so let's jump right in you go to master expedition once you enter the master expedition you always go first to this map this is always the same and uh, there's one campfire there if you still need a campfire and you have some pedestals here which you didn't have on the previous expeditions but uh, you will have on the master expedition so these are your customization battles i don't know if they have a name uh no uh it just says press f to attune a crystal so let's go in here you can do choose runes and here you can choose one of five crystallized resonance so you need crystallized resonance to modify or to tweak or tune change your um, master expedition you have the chaos which gives you extra rough astral diamonds you have balance which gives you extra gold empowered which gives you a piece of non-class based equipment rage a piece of class based equipment and sacrifice which gives you some refinement points putting multiple of the same ones increases the reward slight reward slightly but just a little bit like 25 percent here it's uh 33% extra increased chance of a more powerful piece so very vague it seems that adding different ones might be better because adding them is the same for everything your enemies will be stronger and you have a chance to trigger hidden magic traps throughout the expedition and that's the same for everything so there's no difference there Anyway, as you can see, I cannot add anything. The options are all grayed out. So how do you get crystallized resonance? You can convert resonance into crystallized resonance. So here you can see five options again, uh, your chaos, uh, balance, empowered, rage, and sacrifice. You need 10 resonance to create one crystallized resonance. And you can see that I have three options available. Um, so I can make some of them. Rage seems to be very nice with some extra gear, which I'm looking for. You can click on it and you can see item received. So it's a very nice option that doesn't switch away the whole, uh, the whole time. Um, so how do you get this resonance is then the question, of course, because you need resonance first to get crystallized resonance. Let me go to a map. So here we are in Twisted Caverns. As you can see here, you see a weird icon. This icon can be yellow, green, purple, orange, or I'm probably, yeah, I'm missing one color. The five different colors. Uh, the colors represent which resonance you get there most. Um, so if you go into here, you will be scaled to the level of the um, oh, Jesus so you will be scaled to the level of your where is my companion actually dismiss sorry so oh I have a stone so you will be um, scaled to your uh, the item level of this area and here you can start fighting enemies um, the resonance isn't as it seems a drop at least it, it wasn't before seemed to uh, overlap a bit with the uh, kill but you basically see you get chaos uh, resonance just for being in combat there also get purple resonance but mostly you get the yellow yellow resonance here and you get resonance relatively quickly 
So it doesn't take long at all to get, ouch, to get resonance here. Of course, these are heroic, so enemies are a little bit stronger, as you could see there. Uh, once a encounter disappears, there will be a new uh, heroic encounter on a different place on the map. So you have to just wait for a little bit. And there it is. So it, now it's an orange one. You can go there again and collect your resonance. Anyway, we already had some resonance. Um, so let's go back to our master expedition. So here we are back at the pedestals. We're going to attune a crystal. We made some rage crystals. So we're going to attune this one. Uh, it states once again the risks and the rewards. A piece of class based equipment for this one. Once you attune this, the next one becomes available and you can go on like this. Um, do not, the master expeditions are not scaled, so you will be level 80 and you will have all of your stats, which is... Wow, this is uh, way too much. Um, so, yeah, that's the companion stuff. As I said, each uh, ex master expedition is three maps. Um, you will be able to see the map here. Here's where the boss will be. And this is kind of a small maze, which I have seen many times already. And we have to find three magic relics here, as well as kill all of the enemies. So here's the first magic relic. They look like this. They are glowy. They give a lot of light. So they are easy to find. And here are the first enemies. Um, I might make a map with all of the locations for the magic relics. Not sure yet. Also, enemies here do quite a bit of damage. Because they are level 80, they are pumped up. They are epic enemies. So don't expect easy fights. You can group up for these expeditions you don't have to but you can if you attune more than one crystal i would advise to just team up probably for everything team up because um, probably the rewards are just the same as for um, barovia or castle ravenloft the hunts where everyone gets the rewards for the attuned crystals I'm not sure about this, I haven't done expeditions with multiple people, but this that is something that I think is very viable. Let's say it like that. Let me finish off these enemies and I will show you when I get the magic relics. Okay, that was a trap apparently. That's the first time I saw that to be honest. But uh, apparently my incoming healing is now reduced. So I have to look out, I guess. Five minutes. Uh, I already saw the second magic relic in the corner there. So let me pick that up. That's two, one more to go. Ah, here's number three already. This is the first time I see it here. But yeah, let's get number three. At this point, let me see if I can go to the next area because if we don't need to kill all the enemies, then why would we? Uh, one more thing, if you see a door like this, you can go through this kind of door um, because you can always go back from here if you are here there's a mini boss you can go back up and back out of the door if you cannot find the relics here because sometimes they are here near the uh, mini bosses so if you don't have three make sure to go back because once again it's very important to get all of them So 
Sometimes the mini bosses are easier than some of the enemies, which is uh, still some tuning needed. This one was relatively easy. If you see a door like this, you cannot go back. So once you go through here, make sure you have your three relics, because each area has three relics. Make sure you have your three relics and for the next area, six relics before you go through a door like this. Here we immediately have a relic here. Let me uh, do the rest myself. So here you can see the second um, boss is a shambling mold and I only have one relic but I can see two and three are here and there. So let's kill this one. The Ancient of Mredreth. I don't know how to pronounce that. So this one was a little bit more tanky. As you can see, you also get some coalesced magics and seals of the mountain from these mini bosses. Um, let's get our magic relics because we want to go up to six now in total before we go through that gate, which we did right now. And then it's time for the third and final area, which typically is very small. Uh, and once again, it is. Make sure to also look behind, uh, there's a relic here, so in the last area typically the relics are very easy to find. We have a brute modder. Let's see how easy this one is to kill. Previous one was a little bit tanky. But never really threatened our HP. I'm not using my uh, artifact at all, which I actually should. Let's get fire for some extra damage. As this one should be enough now. Okay, so that's done. Oh, he dropped also something, so the bosses can also drop gear, and this is. Probably some of the hunt gear. Let me finish this guy off. Let's see what this is. Level 950, gain 250 defense for each player in your team. Uh, yeah. So this is also something you can get from killing enemies. So let's find the last two magic relics, even after the killing the boss. Oh, there's one. They are luckily very shiny. So easy to find. But they can be anywhere. So they can even be at the end gate. See, not here. There's the chest. There's another. So these are the bombs in incoming healing amount reduced and incoming healing amount reduced. Okay, twice, that's nice. And they last for five minutes. So this is also something different from the um, other expeditions. There is a master chest here or master expedition chest only available for master expeditions. And in here you can also get some nice stuff. Let's see what we get. Hood of the Black and Jar, just some um, ra uh, rare uh, gear that you can also drop from the heroics and other stuff. But the rune etchings are also very nice. Let me also finish this quest real quick. So here you get the Undermountain Expedition rewards. We get 30 coalescent magics. We got the Braces of the Red Feathered Clan, another blue drop gear and some Seal of the Mountain. So one more thing that I need to tell you guys that's also important for this topic is the resonance that I showed you at the start that you get from heroics. Uh, you can turn them into the crystallized resonance which you can use on your expeditions for additional rewards. But you can also use that resonance on restoring the successor gear. I don't know if it also works in different gear but successor gear needs resonance as well and it needs quite a lot of it. 400 chaos 400 rage and uh, 400 empowered and that's the same for all of these gear pieces well probably you need different no it's the same three chaos rage empowered seems to be the th same three for each piece of gear 
Um, so yeah, it's it's uh, a lot of resins to collect. They you do collect them pretty quick, uh, but it's a lot to collect. Uh, so when you do expeditions, take this into account. If you want to upgrade your gear, you shouldn't use too much of the uh, additional features of the master expeditions, or just use them on your three expeditions and get some more resonance for your gear. So that's it. Uh, if you have any remarks in this video or any suggestions on what to investigate next, feel free to leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.